Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at option menus. And uh, option menus are things that spring up from the bottom of your application and um, allow you to select menu items that do stuff. Um, since I think uh, SDK version 11, uh, action bars have been a preferred method to supply um, to allow users to change settings and action bars appear at the top of your screen up here. But um, if I look at this application here and I look at my Android manifest and the users SDK, I've said that this application can run on SDK, SDK version 10. Um, so um, to get the kind of um, compatibility with SDK version 10, I would like to give this application a option menu which um, existed even in the earliest versions of Android, I believe. So we'll take a look at that here. Um, now this is this is actually uh, probably simpler than you think. So what I want to do um, is, so now I've got two activities on my application um, and this is an image where I have to touch certain points to get through to the next screen. And I've set those points up, so if I click the right points on the image here, it will check them and then take me through to my protected notes here. And I thought it would be good if here there was like um, a settings option that allowed me to reset my pass points. So to um, run the image activity that we saw first and change the points that you have to click on the image to get through to this screen here, like a reset password facility basically. And to do that, uh, the first thing I need is, a, is an option menu with one item in that will pop up when I click the menu button here. And on modern phones which don't have the um, menu button, well I say modern, I mean very recent phones, uh, which lack this menu um, button, usually you hold down the um, recent apps button and then that causes some kind of options menu to pop up. Now if I click this menu button here, we'll see that we already get this is actually a options menu with one menu item in it. And of course you can have more menu items. And this has one item, the settings item. And uh, where does that come from? That's that's kind of in your application by default when you create a Hello World application. And if you go to um, Res here and you go to Menu, you'll see that for each of your activities there is this XML file under Menu. So we've seen the XML files under Layout and now we're looking at this Menu folder in Res. And if I go to, um, well, this here is actually called um, activity main, it's my main activity so called at the moment. So if I click on activity main under menu, here we'll see some XML that creates a menu. And the structure of it is, it's a lot like uh, your layout um, XML, uh, except that instead of having a layout view group here, you've got um, this menu view group, and just the same as for your, um, your layout um, XML, you've got this XML namespace declaration here that just has to be there in the outer tag. And then you've got as many menu items as you want within it. And each menu item has, at the minimum, it can have icons, but at the minimum it has um, an ID here and a title, which is a string that appears on it. And this one's also got this ordering category, which um, overrides the order of the menu items in the XML and kind of puts them in the order you specify. Let's get rid of this for the moment because we don't need it. I'll get rid of the order and I'm, I'm going to change uh, this ID. So we know from the plus sign here that this is defining this ID right here. So let's change the definition and let's have menu underscore um, pass points reset. And um, yeah, so um, so I've, I've changed the ID, and I also want to change this the text that appears on this menu item. So if I go to my um, strings.xml under values here, oh yeah, what I wanted to say actually, um, why I was hesitating, but my mind went blank, was that um, you see these are all menu underscore such and such, 
that's not necessary it's purely a convention so that you know which kind of ID and which uh, resource name um, does what so if you have an icon you could prefix it with IC underscore for example so let's go to strings.xml here and let's add a new string and I'll give it the name uh, in other words the ID menu underscore password actually what should I call it um, yeah I think um, I could I could call it menu underscore pass points pass points um, reset I think yeah I think if, if I give this the same name as that I don't know if that's confusing or not I think that would be alright um, because after all this is this is an ID whereas this is in the strings um, resource so they can have the same name uh, and let's let's say here uh, reset um, pass points like that and um, and now let's change this to use that string that I just defined so I make sure this is saved and it is um, so I've got this menu pass points reset text here that says reset pass points and I'll just use that as the text for my menu item so let's say menu underscore and I'll use the autocomplete there and menu pass points reset there we go and let's just run that and see what it looks like and while this is starting up let's go to the right console here check that it is starting up um, I'll just explain a bit more here so if I go to um, my activity I'll go to um, the uh, where are we source uh, my package and my main activity here your, your activities by default they have um, this on create options menu um, method which overrides um, the, the same method in the parent and what this does is um, you'll notice it's, it's using the, this r.menu activity underscore main so this is the ID from r.java and it's the ID that corresponds to this menu activity underscore main xml that we were just editing and this um, gets passed in a kind of blank options menu and the purpose of this get menu inflator dot inflate the purpose of that is to take the xml and to kind of turn it into uh, a menu to take that xml and use it to configure this menu and that action of taking xml and turning it into some sort of user interface widget in the Android lingo is um, inflation so that's why it says um, inflate it just means take this XML and uh, put it in this menu basically inflate it into a user interface widget so as long as that's there it's gonna um, create my options menu and let's just have a look at this menu now so I'll go through to the next activity here and click the menu button and now it says reset pass points um, now um, to, um, to handle a menu item is, uh, is also pretty simple so I'm just going to click in this activity here um, it's somewhere between the methods and go to source override implement methods and I want to override a method called um, on menu let's see on menu item selected so it's pretty intuitive so you override the on menu item selected in your activity and the way this works is um, you get passed in the menu item that was clicked and here we've only got one menu item but you could have as many of these as you like in your menu and if there's too many to display at once they will go into a kind of overflow menu so you don't have to worry about the number of them and they can also be organized into um, categories but now um, here we've just got one item um, but um, let's assume that we might want to have more items so I won't just blindly assume that the reset password item has been clicked let's pretend there are lots of items and to find out which item has been clicked um, you can use a switch here and I need to switch on um, item.get 
let's see if the autocomplete will work here um, I'm getting problems with my autocomplete but it basically works get menu get whoops this is really annoying get item ID there we go so um, this is a clicked item and I get its ID and the ID will just be the ID it will be um, this ID which I can find via r.java so I can say here case r.id.menu um, um, passports reset that was the ID I gave to the item and um, if you handle a menu item you do something with it you should return true and if you don't handle it, so let's say default here, this is a default case, you should return the superclass implementation of this method, which is we've already got here. Eclipse um, helpfully put it in for me. So let's just put in a default case, return the super implementation of this method. And now here I can handle my menu item. And for the moment, let's just have, um, just so we can see it working, I could use the debug statement here let's just have a toast and say this um, I'll just say hello for the moment toast dot length long like that so if I run this now that should be operative um, so that's basically it for the moment for this tutorial but um, I'll show you this working in just a second and um, what I'm going to do next is I want this to run an activity and I want it to run my um, image activity actually and we're going to have to find a way of telling that image activity um, that presents the kind of image on the main screen yeah because the, the first activity that we see with this application which we'll see in a second is my image activity here and this activity is the main activity so we want to run the image activity and tell it that we want to reset the pass points somehow and we're going to look at that in the next tutorial but for now if I go through to the so-called main activity which I probably should rename actually and click the menu button there's my menu item and I click this and <laughs> oh yeah I forgot to show the toast um, so let's just put show in there and save it and I'll just uh, I'll come back in one second when that's running Okay, I'm back and hopefully now it's working. So if I click the menu and click reset pass points, here's my hello toast. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial and until next time, happy coding.